All right, we got a serious media thrashing and gaming sort of machine here. It is a serious computer, though. Uh, if you're looking to buy a new computer for your home and you want to make sure you're getting a PC that's somewhat future-proof, that you're not going to have to upgrade in a year, probably even in two years, this one from Gateway is seriously powerful in all the right ways for a normal home user. It's the Gateway LX6810. It does have an Intel Core 2 Quad processor on board. That's the Q8200 running at 2.3 gigahertz. So you do have four cores on this computer. Eight gigabytes of DDR2 RAM, an absolute ton of memory inside of this PC. It does come preloaded with Vista Home Premium 64-bit edition, so you're able to use all eight gigs of that memory as well. It has a giant 640 gigabyte hard drive on board. It has a DVD RW so you can uh, burn all of your favorite movies and all of your data disks. It does have a TV tuner as well so you're going to be able to use Windows Media Center with this particular computer and it will allow you to get Windows Media Center extenders so anything you record on this PC you can watch on any of your computers in your entire house. It does have the NVIDIA GT120 graphics card with one gig of graphics memory. That is a discrete graphics card and will be uh, pretty good for playing games. Now, of course, it's not going to play the uh, most strenuous games at the highest resolutions, but it is going to be a respectable video card that is in this computer. It also features Gigabit LAN and comes with a really nice keyboard and mouse and, of course, also comes with a Media Center remote control that you're going to be able to use to uh, use to control this computer. So if you're putting this computer in, uh, say, an extra room or you're putting it in a den or an office, you no longer need a TV in there because you can use the built-in TV tuner. And of course, if you do have a computer in your home with Windows Media Center and a TV tuner, you can combine that with Media Center extenders on TVs throughout your house so that anything you record here can be watched in any room in your home and it will also allow you to listen to all of your music and access the program guide. It's all very, very cool and can all be done with this machine. Uh, up here at the top you'll see that it does have a uh, just, uh, just a ton of different media card readers up here. You've got one for compact flash, you've got SD, you've got memory stick, you've got XD. It's all there and features one touch copy. Now it also has a couple of USB ports up here as well. As we work our way down the front of the machine you can find your DVD RW drive. You're going to find that you also have down here even more room for expansion. You can add an extra uh, drive bay in here and you have a removable drive bay right here. So you can actually add hard drives that are easily swapped into and out of the front of this machine. So uh, it's really expandable, very powerful stuff that we're dealing with here. Now around the back is where you're going to find all of our connectivity. Let's take a look back here. Check this out. Starting at the top, you do have room for IR blasters here. Now these are going to be used in conjunction with Windows Media Center to control your external devices such as your cable box, your uh, AV receiver, your TV. Your computer can control all of those with the IR blaster. Now you do have PS2 ports over here. As we work our way down, you're going to find uh, you do have a Firewire port, you've got four USB ports, you've got your gigabit LAN, and you've got your seven channel uh, surround sound. Below that is where you're going to find your TV tuner and your capture right here. This is your GT120 card that does have HDMI, DVI, and VGA on board. And below that is where you're going to find a modem should you find yourself in a situation where you need one. So they can be handy to have a modem on your computer. Getting into it, very easy. Simply remove a couple screws from the back, pop off the side, and have a look here. This is what is going on inside. As you can see, all four memory slots are in use, but that's okay because this computer is maxed out. Eight gigs is the maximum amount of memory you can put in this computer, and that's exactly what it has. Next to the memory, you can see that we do have your CPU located right there. That's your Intel quad-core Q8200 CPU, and as we work our way down, you find that we have our video uh, capture and uh, TV tuner located right here. Below that is your graphics card and down there is your modem. So you do have uh, some room for expansion there. You see you have one free PCI slot and if you lose the modem you got two free PCI slots. So there is room for expansion on this machine and it's one thing I left out 
this DVD RW drive that's on this also features uh, the label flash technology, which is going to allow you to burn labels directly onto the DVD. So once you're done recording your DVD, you can just flip it over, put it right back in the DVD drive, and it will actually burn images and text onto your DVD so you don't have to uh, worry about messing it up with Sharpies and stuff like that. And it looks very professional and looks very cool. So there you have it. Very impressive machine that we have right here. Very, very fast and is going to last you for years. This is not a computer that you're going to need to immediately upgrade. It's not going to be a computer that's going to be obsolete just months after buying it. It's the Gateway LX6810 quad core, 8 gigs of memory, TV tuner, big hard drive, big fast DVD RW drive. It's all there. It's all inside the Gateway LX6810. To get more info on the Gateway LX6810 with 8 gigs of DDR2 RAM, go to any of the retailers you see right now and type in G180-6810 into the search box. For Computer TV, I'm Bauer.